to Discovering Data Flex with uh, me, Johan Profelt. Today we're going to do a mobile application and uh, we're going to do a contact list with a company and role. And we should be able to filter on company and role so we get only the contacts we want. So, first of all, we're going to have a menu where we can select contact, company, or role. And if we select company, we get a list of uh, uh, contact. We get a list of contacts, and you can click on the contact, and you can go in and edit them. Then you select company, and you can get a list of companies, which you also can edit a role, and you can edit the roles. So let's look at the application here. We have the data, and you see we have a company table, we have a contact table, and a role table. So we're going to start out, and the order here is kind of important. We're going to start out by creating zoom views for our uh, least significant uh, objects, company, and role, because we're going to use them later. Uh, uh, let's see. So, oh, zoom, row, and the naming here is just for convenience. Uh, Data uh, Flex is using zoom as a name, and uh, it's easier to to figure out how to name things if they are the same all over the place. So this was the role, we create a role, and we can preview, this is what it looks like, I don't have any more fields in here, and of course I could, but it doesn't really matter. And here we have the code, so you can see we have the role, we have a menu with a delete button, cancel, edit, and here is our role label, the role change that to row X and then it will update here. I can also click here and do some manipulations if I want to change the width and color span and stuff like that. But for now we're just gonna leave it as it is. And uh, move on to our company. Since contact is related to role and company, we also have those. So we can take them in and they will be displayed here. That's I want capital letters at the beginning. I think it looks nicer. Yes. We want to keep these. We don't have. We haven't created those views yet, so uh, uh, we cannot do lookups. But we will do that later. And then we finish. And now we move on to our select views. So until now, we have only created the edit views. You can see here the edit. And um, like that. Is I haven't got the contact. Let's see, we don't have a birthday. Let's use that just to show how that is working. And we can go in and save this. And 
now you can see how we add this. We actually launch our code explorer. And uh, we could add a let's see a mail in company. Let's put there you have a date form. And we basically want to copy this and modify it. Birthday. You can see here, this is a C web form which takes text, and this is a C web date form which will get this calendar so we can select the dates. So I think it's neat to show that as well. Now we have the Zoom contact. Now we want to be able to select and because um, yeah we're going to make the Zoom for the contact first. Select, let's call it select, contact. Because uh, the reason why we're going to do the contact is because the company and the role should work as a filter for the contact list. So when we use create them in the wizard, we can just select this view and uh, it, then it's nice to have it done already. So we don't have to do it again. Surname and company and role. We want them, and this will only go down to the zoom view. So we select the zoom view for the contact, and we want. If we look at this now, it's all on one line. So we want to move these two down to the new line, but it's still kind of boring. So we change this to caption and this to detail and now I think it looks better. So you can also change alignments here if you like. And now we finish with that one. Now let's move on to the company and row. Case, they should go down to both. So we have our select view here, select contacts, and our uh, zoom view should go down to company because it's company we're doing right now. And there you go, finish. And uh, the last one is our roll. So let's go in here and oh, select role. Now we do the role. And that should be both. Go down to select con select. No. Yeah. Select contact. And zoom view is the role. Now if we look at the application, you can see that we have some views here. We have select contact, company and row, contacts, company and row. And I can click on a row to get to contact and I can have the owners and then I get class. So we can go back to the company and click on a company and we should get select contact 
but here you have yeah, those two. So now we're in select contacts with a filter and I can go in and click on me and I can go in and set a birthday like this. So now I have a birthday in a couple of days. And uh, basically it works apart from one thing that we missed so far. And that is if I want to change the owner here, I get an error like this. And then I can click debug and I notice that I should register O row view or select row should actually have the same on the company company change so I work in another company and maybe I'm in marketing and I save so now I can go out and click on the company and I see myself and I click the front of T and I see Klaus or I go into rows and I click marketing and there I am and development owner there is Klaus so now this application works. We have these tiles here. We could create direct links to the, uh, the views if we like. I could just show you shortly. Go into the dashboard and you have these and you just uh, you have the first tile here. There's a bit of HTML but you should be able to Change the tile to it says let's say this is contact contacts and we change this Hello. to our view and we want select contact o select o select contact and the next one we want to be see down here we want this to be company So we go down here and select the select company. Basically, I'm just doing shortcuts. Select company, and the last one we call the row. Let's run this again and see what happens. Now we can go directly into contact lists, and we go back to dashboard, company list, dashboard, and row. And we can go in here, and we can change myself back to front IT and developer, and save. Create a new one and I can search. Let's see if I can search. Yeah. Yeah. If I 
lines be. The yellow line here is looking for me. And uh, that's it. Thank you for listening. And bye for now.